Okay, so here's a quick explanation of getting the information from the Yahoo Finance website. Some of you may have found that if you clicked on the Yahoo Finance um, link that's here, it opened into nothing. In fact, when I just clicked on it, nothing happened. Okay, so what you can do is right click on it and open it in a new window. And there you've got the Yahoo site. I'm just going to make the window a little bit more reasonable size so that you can see that that's where it is. Okay, so I want two particular um, stocks. So I'm going to pick the one from, say, Amazon. So I'll choose Amazon. There you go, AM. Drop that one out. Okay, so there's Amazon's um, information. Come back here. Okay, and on the left you would click historical prices and then you would choose the time frame as soon as you get that window up. Which is right there. Okay, so here's my date range, a start date. Okay, I want three months, so I'm gonna go um, October 29, 2013. October, November, December. That should have been November. November, December, January. There we go. November 29th. Get prices. And those are daily prices. And there we go. All right. Now there's all the numbers. We should have about uh, roughly 90. Down here, there's a link called Download to Spreadsheet. Now here's where the next problem comes in. Depending on whether you're on a PC or a Mac, when you click on download to spreadsheet, and I'm on a PC in this instance, when I click on it, it pops open this window that gives me the choice to open it with Excel or to save the file. Okay, so I'm going to click on it just to show you that it will in fact open in Excel. And there's the information. And by now you should know that this means that uh, the data didn't fit, so I'll just make that larger. And there's my data. Okay, so that's the first one. And that worked just fine. That worked as expected. Now, what happens if you click on this and it doesn't behave the way you expect it to? In fact, in the Macs, if you click on it, it'll just automatically open in Safari, for example, and show you the data on the page. Well, that's a bit of a problem. So what you want to do is you want to right-click and choose Save Link As and then save that file locally. So I'm going to save that um, on my, oh, let's just say on my desktop for now. Where's my desktop? I, right up here. And I'm going to call it Amazon. Amazon. OK, and you'll notice that by default, it figured out that it's a .csv file. Now, if you're on a Mac, it will not figure that out. So I would recommend that you actually add that extension .csv. CSV stands for comma separated values. And what that means is that the information in this file will be separated by commas. And I'll show you that to you in a second here. So I'm just going to, you can't see this, so I'll bring it over. I'll click on Save. And I've now saved my file on the desktop. Okay, so now I'm going to go have a look at my desktop. Oh, let's take this one right here and bring that into view for you. There's my desktop and there's the file that I just saved. Now I'm just going to show you what that data actually looks like. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to choose to show it to you with Notepad. Notepad++ plus plus actually. And here's what that data looks like. All right, so the information that you saw on the screen on the web page was, is there and every piece of data line by line is separated by commas. Okay, so we know that. So I'm just gonna close this file. And then I'm going to go to Excel. And this time, 
if you were using Open Office or LibreOffice, you would open that. I could do the same here. So I'm simply going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to go and open that file. There we go. And it's on my desktop. And it doesn't see it. So I'm going to choose. Let's see if I can make you see that. Bring that into the window. All right, so it's not showing up in my list, but I am looking at the desktop. So just like you had to be before, I have to go to, oops, wrong item. Go to all files. So I can see that amazon.csv file and click open. And there you go. Now, what can happen is that it won't automatically recognize those commas, and so it's going to pop up a window that um, essentially allows you to choose what the various delimiter types are. I'm not sure how to force that. I'll see if I can force that with another file type here. Let's just go to here and open on my desktop. Um, files. Maybe I've got something better on here that we could look at. Here we go. I've got a plain text file here and open. And so this is the window that you might see, which is the text import wizard. And it's going to show you this choice here, whether or not your file is delimited or fixed width. In, this, in your case, uh, with the Amazon information, it would be delimited. And then you would choose, um, that by clicking Next, what it's delimited by. And that would be comma in that case. And then you would click Next and then Finish, and it would import your information. Now, I didn't really have anything in there. But that just gives you an example of exactly how that works. Okay, so then after you've got your data, then you move on to the next instruction in the assignment. Um, it says here now you have the two spreadsheets, each displaying something like this. Okay, and then you move on and you do what it is that you need to do to get the data to be able to um, plot the graph that end up looking like, scrolling down here, Make sure you read all of these instructions to get to this point so that you can graph that data. Okay, so good luck with that. And if you have questions, remember to post those to the discussion forum.